systematic steps to create an unmet project. So first of all, you have to run your unmet by typing the unmet pp command, both in Windows and Linux. From this tutorial, we'll be using uh, unmet file from Linux Ubuntu version 16.4. So you open and then you set your omnet into running and this takes some time it takes some time before it is finally open and it gets started so once it gets started we are going to create a fresh a new project and a very simple project and this will serve as the guideline so you go to new omnet project and then you type the name of the project so we are going to name our project um, as first project you can use any name of your choice and then um, we click on next and we select empty project with src and simulation we don't want to do these src and simulation folders manually so we just select that and we click on next and then next again and we wait for our project with the empty src and simulation file the src and the simulation files is what we will be using for our project we'll do the coding and designing in that so when you go to that folder that we created for the project you can see simulations and if you drop down the simulations you would see omnet in file and the net file the net file is where we'll be doing the designing of our topology and the ini is where we'll be doing our coding for the project so when you go to the right side panel that is the palette you will see that there are just two models but we need more than that we don't have the image model in our project yet so we have to import omelette uh, sorry inlet into our project so for that we have to select our project that is first project and then we go to project and then properties and then we go to project preferences so when we scroll down we will see inlet so we click on inlet and we say apply and close so by doing this we will have all the inlet models in our project which you'll be seeing very soon and we can apply or we can select and use for whichever purpose so as you can see on the right panel you have all the models the access points the client the routers everything and everything um, at the right panel so we go ahead to the network types that is the types that you see and we select um, a network which we are going to use to create our topology we expand the space and then we will go ahead to select two clients and then a router so it's just going to be a network topology of two clients connected by a router where a TCP message is sent from one client to another so we just drag and drop our clients from the palette and then the router then um, we select the flat configurator the flat network configurator this configurator is going to assign our IP addresses so we don't need to configure the IP addresses for our machines or our clients it will do that automatically for us so we drag and drop the flat network configurator so the next step is we are going to rename 
our host and uh, we are going to name the first one as host and the second one as um, server and then the router is just going to be router then we will select our data connection our communication connection or the link so our configurator will also be named just as configurator and then we go to the links or the connectors and select a hundred MB connector Ethernet connector and then we connect our host to the router and then our server to the router as seen so we have our topology so we have our simple topology here now we need to tell omnet which network to stimulate so in order to do that you press shift and then spacebar and you have all the simulations available and you select your project and that should have the dot simulation dot network extension so that is your network and then when you go to the any file you will see that network is equal to project dot simulation dot network now we go back to the net source and then we see that everything the positions of the clients the routers and everything has been displayed there for you and you don't have to code anything um, whatever we are importing from network we are going to be using IP version 4 for our addressing for the router and for the client everything is displayed there for you for the host for the routers that and the server so the positions of the client is also shown here um, if you shift it to another place it will update by itself automatically for the router for the server and for the configurator as well so um, from here we can also see as I already mentioned for the server for the router and then we have the connections between the router and the client also here showing as the rate of the link for the router and to the server as well so from here we have to get ready to code for our network So for this, um, the code has already been, I already did it and I, I pasted everything in the editor. So you can copy these codes and also use. So for the client, we are saying that it is going to generate TCP traffic and then send it over to the server using port number 80 we don't have any time interval or think time but you can modify this as per your wish and also use it and see how things turn out for you so uh, for the server 2 it is going to receive all the TCP traffic that is being sent and then um, also over a local port number 80 and we are going to use the drop tail queue there are other queues that you can incorporate you can check in the manual and use that so we copy and then we paste here and then we do that for the client we do that for the server and again we, we will do that for the for the router um, I did this just to make the video shorter because sometimes when you type you have all those um, errors and all that so we copy for the router as well and then we paste here
here. So our topology and coding is almost complete. So um, after this, all we have to do is to save and then run the project, run our first project. Yeah. So we save it and then if this pop up you just select both and you say okay and it, is, it will take some time to build and then the simulation will begin okay so if this error pops up don't fear it is only telling us that whatever we have configured for the flat configurator is not compatible with um, this version so we have to edit it to suit a. Um, I will do that for you to see. This is one issue with Omnet. As there are other versions or upgrades, the previous version, the previous, the code for the previous version does not really match the the current one. So you have to play around with it and do that according to the message it gives. So we will go to the net file. That is the source of the net file. And we will go to our flat network configurator. If you hover the mouse over it, it will give you the right name it wants to use. So here we have the inet.networklayer.configurator.ip version 4. Yes, this is how it wants you to name the network or to make reference or to cast the configurator. So we are going to edit and do that as per the error set so we type our inlet dot network layer dot configurator dot ipv4 so we have to also um, clear that flat network configurator and then as per the error it's not recognizing flat network configurator so we will clear that one and then put IP um, IPv4 we'll put IPv4 Omnet will give you the suggestions for the new one so according to that you have to make the correction so IPv4 network configurator, yes. So now we can save it and then build and run the project again. And we are going to have a correct um, simulation this time around. So we run from the green arrow there. And now we are not having any errors. We will continue in the next video. Thank you for watching.